Hello everyone. If you are facing connectivity issue from MySQL Workbench to your DB instance of RDS, then it might be due to the security group and permission, especially the inbound connection permission. So I'm going to show you how to change the security group. I have one DB instance here. And if I go into the instance, then the current security group is the default one. So I will create a new security group. I'll give a name. And in the inbound rules, I need to add rules. So here in modules, I can select a specific port 3306, which is used by RDS, or I can also choose MySQL Aurora, which selects 3306 automatically. If you choose all traffic, that will also work because that includes 3306 as well. So to be specific for RDS, I will choose MySQL. My RDS is uh, MySQL RDS. So it chooses 33206 when I select MySQL. Here custom is simply one of the item and I need to add two IP addresses. Um, if I add my IP, then I will be able to connect from my home only. If I choose anywhere, then anyone from anywhere will be able to connect. So when I choose anywhere, this is the item that is actually added, which is 0000 slash zip, which means anywhere in IPv4. And then I need to add the same thing for IPv6 as well. So I will add rule. And specifically for this service, it automatically chose 3306 again ipv6 and this is the ipv6 notation for any network any ip now these two rules have been added i will save or create security group if i look into the inbound rules for this new security group i see that my skull which is using 3306 port number and the source anywhere anywhere now i need to add this security group to the rds instance so here is a deep instance Currently it's using default, so I will modify. And go to the security group section and remove the default one and add the new one. This is the new one. I will save. Now it takes few minutes to remove the security group and add the new one. So I can go inside the instance and I can see it's still removing and adding. In the meantime, I will make a connection to MySQL Workbench. So I'll copy the endpoint. And I will disconnect. I will delete all connections I will add one and in the host name I will put the endpoint make sure the endpoint is copied completely so at the end it's com and at the beginning it's ipm the username is admin I can put the password right now or I can put the password later 
if I test connection and the security group has not been added yet, it will fail. Mm -hmm. So let me check. This is active. Now, if I don't put the password in the vault, it will prompt for the password. If I put the password, it will show test connection success. So let's do test connection and it is prompting. That's an indication that it could make a communication with the RDS. As you can see, it's successful. All right. Now, if I save this connection, we'll keep a name. And it's OK. Now we can connect by clicking here. And it did connect. Now I can use any SQL that is applicable. I didn't create any database, so I can simply use show databases that will show existing databases. Okay, that's all. See you in the next video.